In this video we're going to look at data formatting. So you can see on the screen that we've got data that's been imported into this particular spreadsheet and if I look at the top of the screen you can see up here I have a format. Okay, So currently you can see that the format is set to general um, and whichever cell I select that will change um, the view of this. But as you can see as I click through the spreadsheet all of these um, fields, all of these cells are all formatted to a general data type and that's the default data type that's uh, allocated to any data that's entered into a spreadsheet. So part of what we need to do um, in order to uh, make the data more appropriate is to apply the appropriate formatting techniques to this data. So if I just drop this list down here you'll be able to see some of the data types that are available to us. So you can see the general data type is the one at the top Then we have numbers which would be a, a, a number data type we have currency, which will allow you to put pounds and pence. Uh, we have dates, so a short date uh, would put a date in um, short date format, so 25 slash 12 slash 2022. And a long date would put, obviously, the date in a long date, so 25th of December 2022. Uh, we have uh, percentages, we have uh, text. So we need to look at the data that's in the spreadsheet and decide what uh, which of those data types is going to be the most appropriate for the column that we're looking at so let's uh, start looking at some of this data before we go on actually uh, there is another option there there's this little um, expandable icon at the bottom here okay on the number uh, if i drop that down that opens me up the format cells option which gives me another different way of working with data types um, and allows me to do other things such as uh, cell alignment um, protection and filling and things like that but we're not going to use that. But if you didn't want to use it, you can. it is exactly the same thing. So let's start looking at some of these columns then. So column A is the question number column, and as you can see, that uh, column contains numbers. So um, that's probably going to be the data type, or the most appropriate data type that we're going to use for that column. The same would apply to age, because they're just numbers. If I had a mixture of letters and numbers, like a postcode for example, then that would not be an appropriate data type for number, and neither would currency. So, for example, if I had um, uh, 11.99 and that was supposed to represent currency, format our data type as a number would not be appropriate. We have the gender column. Uh, as, you, as you can see, that all the entries in there are, are text only. We have uh, the preference column, and you can see that all the data types in there are um, text only. We have um, the, uh, this, the play on console column, which are all Ys and Ns. We have um, this column I, which talk about the number of ga uh, hours gaming per week. Um, then uh, those are all letters. We have the number of hours you played, which are all uh, numbers. And then we have the game player movement column. So we're going to start looking at these, um, these columns. So I'm going to highlight from the bottom up. The reason I do that is because if I highlight from the top down, if I do this, okay, click and drag. Okay, when I get to the bottom, it just carries on and it, it can go a bit crazy. So I always find it easier to come to the bottom of the row of the column, highlight up, and then it's going to stop when it gets to the top. So you can see that that column is formatted as a general data type. So what I want to do is drop this list down, and I'm going to select the number data type. And what you'll find is when you click the number data type, it's going to add in decimal places. Okay. So we want to get rid of those decimal places because we just want a whole number. So there are two buttons. Okay. There's one here increase decimal and there's one here for decrease decimal so I want to show fewer decimal places so if I click the button you can see that it, it reduces the decimal places by one and if I click it again it decreases it by two and now you can see I've got a whole number but you can see that the number the data type is now a number okay so I'm going to do the same thing for age so I'm going to come down and highlight the column I'm going to decrease the number of decimal uh, so I'm going to change the data type to a number and then I'm going to decrease the number of decimal places like that. Okay. Um, on this one over here, I'm going to format this column as a number. I'll show you the different way of doing this. So I've highlighted down. Okay. If I click on this little icon at the bottom here, as I just explained, this gives me this view. And again, I can change this to a number. But the beauty of this view is I can change my decimal places in here straight away. Okay. So you can take evidence from here. Of, uh, of changing uh, decimal places as well. So I'm going to click OK on there, and you can see that's now formatted as a number to no decimal places. 
So uh, this column I'm going to format as a text data type. So I'm just going to highlight the values in the in the column, and I'm going to format this as text. Okay, so you can see that's now formatted as text. Same thing here. I'm going to format this as text. And the same thing on uh, the rest of the text columns. So this time I can highlight more than one column at a time. I'm going to format that as text. And then finally, the game player movement one, I'm going to highlight this column and I'm going to format that as text as well. And that is how you format values in cells in a spreadsheet.